Thank you so much once again for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now before we <coughs> went on our short break, we were just trying to focus on men's mental health awareness because June is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month and we wanted to highlight some of the issues that men deal with and how they can solve them. So joining me live on set is Anthony and Austin. So we have a professional, Anthony, and then we have a Gen Z who's never experienced therapy before. Na anatuambia ya yeah, pendi therapy. Anona ni kama men don't talk about issues. Therapy doesn't work. That's his opinion. So we want to understand does it work? Is it an option or what other options do you have to deal with your mental health issues? Go on our social media platforms at Y254. We've posted a question. Do you think men should open up? Do you think they should communicate? Should they talk to someone about their issues? Let us know. Uh, give a comment, an opinion, any experience at her, and we'll sample that as we progress. Now, before we went on the break, we were just asking Baba Zetu Walikwa Nafanyaji and our grandfathers and the previous generations of men and the uncles and all that. Me personally, I can admit it was very hard for me to say, Dad anadil na kitu, or my uncle is dealing with something. But mamangu, auntie, shosho, sijui, wataropo kwa kutoka, subi paka jioni, utajua kumechemka. <laughs> so, that culture, has it transferred to us? Na uliuliza, Austin asked a very important question. How were they dealing with issues? Because you know right now the issues that we're dealing with, ni, we've talked about men deal with finances and relationships. But Kitambo walikuwa napigana na malayon. Sijui unatetea familia kwa against sijui nini. And the development wasn't as much as it is today. Times were harder, issues were different. Anthony, yeah. we've given the perspective. You, you were trying to explain to us that most of these my theories are men shouldn't talk, I'm a men should act like this. They're passed down from generation to generation. Mm. So I want to first understand, when we observe, do we just take that at face value? Ama, should we ask? Unaweza kana baba kumwambia by the way, dad, niki grow up sikuwa naona ukiongelea issues. But right now, I'm an adult, I understand some things. Do you have these conversations? Should we have these conversations with the new generation? Ama tunaendelea tuku beba hivi ndo tu pass on to our sons? Now, one thing I think uh, uh, most of our parents should understand is, uh, as I said, time is moving, generations are moving. Back then kulikuwa na generation X, ama boomers. Okay. Only between siju 1960, 31 to 1965. Kuna generation X, kuna generation Y, kuna generation X, na sayi kuna generation Alpha. Now, what our parents should do, and this is to each and every parent who has a son or daughter, whether small or big, whether a teenager, whether an adult or a, a, a toddler, and mean kijana. One thing you need to appreciate is time and changes in generation. Those times, sujuka usha eskia watu likuwa nito advisors. Kulikuwa na advisors. They were there. Exactly. They were there. Actually, paka sahi, kuna nyumba kumi. Nyumba kumi ni awaze kukiwa na issue wanaenda ngapo hapo si ndio the same same thing hiyo sasa ndio ime ime grow ikakuwa sasa right now they are professionals hiyo wakati wako anafanya kama a professional because they were just advisors mwanamke ukiwa na challenge unaenda na unaona mzee mwenzako anakusaidia 1 2 3 mostly kama ni familia sana sana ilikuwa familia hiyo wakati alafu that's it but number 1 as i said you need to appreciate time inasonga the knowledge is there unless you are a parent who is ignorant and you cannot see what is happening we are losing our men every day by suicide. Trust you me. Every single day we are losing men by suicide. And it's so sad because there's that misconception, that stigma that a man, when a man opens up or a man, when a man talks about what is happening, uh, a challenge happening in his life, atakuwa viewed as a weak man. And as I mentioned, and that we should talk about that, also the women we have are not making it safe for men to open up. You understand? So the so mababu zetu mababu zetu the reason as to why hatu jamaa uncle zetu hatu jawa waona maybe wakikuwa open enough to some of these things hiyo wakati probably haikuwa that serious our advisors are kwa wanawaambia it is something so complex but now we need to appreciate time we also, we also need to appreciate that generation in a change kuna more knowledge so na sai the government is appreciating gen z's wanaona impact gen z wanaweza fanya a very big revolutionary impact the same same thing tunaona hiyo impact ndio tunafaa kuona kama wazazi you should listen to your sons and daughters sana sana your sons don't ignore that your son is having a challenge unasema huyu ni mwanamme atapambana kimwanamme because the moment you teach your son that trust you me at a grow up akijua hivyo because as i mentioned 
There's the cultural perspective of how a man is taught, and there's a family perspective of how a man is taught. Now, from the family perspective, as much as where we come, Amzazi, I'm a grandparent, Hakukua now you are it does not mean that right now, since there is the knowledge, you should not do that. It is important, even in our generation, Sisi, eh? whether Gen Z, whether Millennials, whether Gen Alpha, Wakipata to keep out to it, Wakipata to 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 our Gen Alpha to 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 answer from her because these conversations of men not opening up and men dying. So we have been talking about this years and years, and the only way we can get a solution is if it starts from us. Yeah. Because what's an anawao? You look at life yao. One thing I usually say to my clients is, you can when I create your your own nation out of your own story. Atakama, you have been through some very terrible traumas. You can say that is gone. Let me now start from here. Yeah. For example, if you are rejected by your family, you don't rely on the past. Now start from there. Kama uliko rejected, maybe wazazi wako wajaya atakuja visiting. Haimanishi ukipata warota hauta kuhu naenda juu uliona. That's stupidity, I call it. Because you cannot just do what juu uliko na babako wakichapa mamako. Ukwe, you are an adult. We have the knowledge. We have the knowledge to know what is good and bad. Haimanishi juu, as much as the trauma bit of it, we are not ignoring that. But you are wise enough to know that you are an adult. And just because you saw your father beating your mother, does not mean you should, when you grow up you should emulate that and start beating your wife. At your excuse, mimi na chapanga bibi yangu juni likona babangu wa kichapa mamangu. Mm. Does that really make sense as an adult? Really make sense. You see, so we should really appreciate, as a parent, na fathali ongeleshe wa kijana wako. Usi assume, mm. don't, usi tenge kijana, because don't, don't be an absent. That's why we are really insisting on, kusai kuna kapandemi kia single mom, single moms. And that pandemic is from a point of the mother, and from the point of the absent father in the picture. Yeah. Please, for all the men, all the fathers, sana sana the fathers who are watching, if you have any child, either a teenager, either a small child, either an adult, tafadhali, please help him learn kujua that opening up is not a sign of weakness and that they can open up to anyone, including a therapist. Mm -hmm. We should appreciate that. Na umuambie hivo, na usimuambie atiwe ka ngumu. Don't sympathize with the situation. This, as I said, kuna difference ya sympathy na empathy. Usijaribu kusema, oh yeah. When you come talking to a therapist, hata kwambia oh yeah, we don't sympathize in therapy. We don't. We don't. Any therapist who tells you oh yeah, itakuwa sawa, no. That's now, not a I, I personally feel like it's powerful. It takes a lot of strength for you to open up about things that hurt you. Yes. Because ni kama unakuwa vulnerable mbele ya mtu. And do you know how hard that is? Who open up kuseme by then ikiwa 12 years old, mm. nilikuwa beaten up so badly, I was homeless for some time. You, you know, that's an extreme story, but opening up takes a lot of strength for you to be vulnerable. Mm. So let me read some of the comments that you've shared, and then we can find out more how we can uh, deal with our mental health issues. This is from Facebook. We have uh, Mpeda Usiku who says, In Asanti Sana. Senior counsel says, if they're related to love affairs, he's free to showcase it, but in a private room, uh, or if it's work, related emotions or something else apart from love, he can stand firm as a real gent. As a real gent. Hey, senior counsel. Hey, real gent. Real men. Who are these real men? Uh, Charles Luange says, well tuned in. Asante sana. Mark Masai says, pamoja. Asante sana for tuning in. We have Moses K.E. who says, mapenzi li nikata. Nika muapombe until death. Mose, imagine si lazima na kuna mtu mapenzi bado itawaka. Na ataka si mapenzi, pombe si solution. Brian Musungu says, homeboys kinyo, uh, kinyozi na kalira locked in. Asanti sana Brian. Uh, we have the barefoot who says, emotions yes, but vulnerability no, because that can be used to harm you. Darius Nyangao says, in Asanti sana. Joshua Mulindo says, watching. Thank you for watching us. We have a uh, wise device swale says which emotions by the way. Eh? <laughs> emotions ni nyingi. Boni Kunati says in Asanti. Magi Kamau says yes they should. Men are also human beings. Exactly. Thank you for that Magi. And based on easy conversation, we can tell. Wanaume hawa open up. We can tell wanaume hawa taki kuku nini kukuwa vulnerable and Anthony the way you've said it's so real because sometimes it's also us as the women Ju, I was listening to someone on radio the other day akasema ati hata wanawake ufai kuongelesha atutongelesha lafu muachane ukwe content kwa podcast <laughs> and that was so funny because people do express and use the content that they get from their personal experiences and their personal stories sengi natani clout sengi nesi atimtuali kwa anajali kabisa 
But now I want to find out from you. Ukiwa na maboys wako, tuseme wewe you found your ways to deal with your mental issues. You pray, you work out, you do all these things. And you're self-aware enough, especially apo kwa, knowing that you have unhealed trauma. Because kuna watu wengi sana, and I think Anthony can agree with me as well, they don't know they have an unhealed trauma. They're not willing to even acknowledge that. But wewe uko willing to acknowledge. Upate boys wako, ana go through it. Utaka ushe your story ama how will you address it? How would you approach that? Would you talk to them? Would you ask them about it? Ama uko tu wapu naombia, eh, see we drink. Najwa, umesema kitu ya mana ya? Funny thing ya, mina maboizu wangu, it's not like that we don't share what we share. Ata kama msea miko heartbroken. But now for boys, it's different. Hakuna hiyo kitu nye nakombia tu uoye. Sisi utakuja hapo, tutakukaanga na hiyo story. Vile uliacho, tutakuchekelea, mbaka ikutoke. Na hivu ndo inafaa kukua for men. Personally, unanabili. Na sasa ukipata mtu mwenye, ako traumatized kabisa, lafu ende ako meet suicide yu usiku. Because it's okay, yes, to roast. Because I understand that your culture, you know, this is a part of be a man. Unajua, unafanyu ati ukwe thug, but ukona emotions, you are hurt. You are actually heartbroken from this situation. Mtu watafanya aje, juu kitoka hapo alafu find out boys wako alijiumiza after that. But you see, pia, kama mwanaume, ufoi ukwe pia more of emotional. Unafa ukwe logical pia. Sidiyo, asani ya nauliza tu swali nina. Wewe, kuna statement moja anasema. Hmm. Kama mwanamu. Kama mwanamu. Tebu, huu ni nani? Kuna mwanamu ni nani? Agent. Who is a man to you? Who is a man? How would you define a man? Or who is a real man? Kwa sabi yondo mtasema, as a real man, you shouldn't do this. Who is that? For me, a real man ni mwenye anapikio baden, na anenda nayo vile hiko. Asianze, usianze kukomplain. Ukibeba yyo baden, unaenda nayo hivyo vile umeipata. Kama marija ku imefail, marija ngu imefail. Yeah. But sasa how to deal na hiyo issues. Juna, is, ata when we go back, when we even look at the Bible, hmm. realistically, hmm. all these people, the kings, the leaders, even Jesus was dealing with some things and he would call his inner circle, awa ungeleshe. Vizuru me mention Jesus, yeah? Hmm. Wakati Jesus alikuwa na task, kubwa sana, hmm. ya kukua crucified. Ali baki na nani? Mabeshte zake? Aku baki na mtu. Disciples wali mtoroka. Na, Aliomba pia adibuda yake God. Haka muambia God. Ikiweze kana niondo lay cup. God aliondo yu cup. Apana. Exactly. Austin, I think we have our facts wrong. Ali muambia. I think we have our facts kidogo wrong. Because Jesus was arrested in the company of his disciples. And? And? And yes, they left him after. He was aware that they would leave. But sasa wende prison wate. Wabebo tu wate wa seme pilot tu bebe. Tuende, tuende, tunam support. That is the point. That is the point. As a man, as a man, you are always alone. Always. That's not a good point. But you know Jesus is not just any other man. Yeah. But Ali live come a man at that point. Na ni vizuri kwanza umemention Jesus by the way. Kwa sababu time yake ya kubeba baden kubwa sana kwa life yake. Alikuwa kivi yake. Na aliambia, ata the women that were around walikuwa nalia. Austin, let's look at the perspective. You're focused on his death, his torture, his imprisonment. Which is okay. He dealt with that by himself. Because he was prepared to deal with that. But prior to that, Anthony... Si Jesus alikuwa na mabeshte zake. Alikuwa na kinapita nini nini. He was crying. Literally anawambia amkeni muombe na mimi. Because he knew ita kwa ngumu. So yes, you have to face it. But do you just have to face it ukiwa umeka ngumu? Awezi ongele. Tebu Anthony tebu tusaidia na isu. I've asked him a good question. Who is a real man? Who is a man? The first thing that you should define a man is a man is a human being bro. Yeah. With emotions. We have, we have emotions. We but are human beings. More of logic. Sindeo, more of logical. Yani. And it doesn't have logical. to be. Because yeah. let's, uh, if we toss that argument and say women are emotional. So that we can bring it to the aspect of the way women. Sometimes we yes. need to create safe spaces for the men. Women are supposed to be emotional. Sindeo, we are supposed to be like, oh my god, nini me happen unanza kulia machozi. But women these days have emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Because it's a choice to have emotional intelligence. Therefore, do you not think, as much as a man is a logical creature, a man should also realize, I have emotions, and I have to acknowledge them, and I have to find a way to balance logic and emotion. Mm -hmm. Good point. Swali mzuri, ya? But, yes, unafo realize, uko, uko also emotional, ya? But sasa kuanza ku live emotionally, sasa kundo shida inatokea vile. <laughs> For real, mwanaume mwana akona, umeipatana na mwanaume akona depression? Ata mademu semanga kono umama. It's a misconception. Maybe. 
Wata, wata tuache your point. Unadzo personal experience is also feeding uh, this yeah, discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From my experience, I've met gentlemen who are willing to talk about it. I've been raised by cousins, siku uh, kwana brothers, but I was raised by cousins and they talk about these issues. We'll sit down and we'll have a conversation. So it brings us back to what Anthony was saying. Ni family venyomona na ni culture. So the upbringing is important. Yeah. The experience of the people who are around you is also important. Let's agree on that. To see, ju, let's not blanket at the all men are like this. Because mm. what were different. Mm -hmm. Now on that note, when we were, we were talking about the women, because women sasa wamengia kwa conversation. Mm -hmm. Women sometimes, especially in this generation when you may acknowledge, tunaikia wanaume pressure. Tuko like, mimi nataka kupele kwa Kempinski every other Saturday. Nataka kukua club sijuigani every other weekend. And we expect the man to finance. Because wanamoskuzi wataki 50-50. Awataki kugrona mtu. So it puts unnecessary pressure on the men. So Anthony, how would you say wanawake tunezafanya better to create a safe space such that even when, let's say my ex, when we are dating in the moment, Akikuja I open up about something, I'm not going to carry that and laugh at him about it after Tumiachana. How can we create a safe space for men to actually be vulnerable with us? Uh, number one, this is to all the women. Eh? Uh, there's this statement that I usually use. Eh? Most women are financial parasitic to men. While their men need uh, a, a woman who is emotionally available. And there's this question I'll pose to the women. Uh, as a lady, maybe you're in a let's use a good example of a romantic relationship. How many times do you call your man to ask him is he, if he's okay or text him? Mwambia, babe, nyaje, are you okay? Like mentally. Because also you as a woman, you're in this when, society, bad. And most of the time, as I said, there are two things that affect a man. Finances and relationship could be romantic, could be friends, could be family. And when it comes to the matters relationship, please don't be a woman when your man comes opening up to you, you shut them down. There's a video that I, that I was watching on TikTok, it's gonna circulate, it's gonna say, it's a, it's a pastor, when a, man's op when a man opens up, usitumie Kenya mekuambia kujaribu ku prove a point, or kujaribu kumweka chini. Because that, that is what most women do in relationships. Imekuja kukuambia, babe, by the way, I don't feel good about how you are communicating to me. I don't feel good about how you normally dress when you go out because there's issues to do with respect and everything. And you as a woman, maybe I may open up something very deep and akwambia mimi familia yangu and something of the sort. And you as a woman, any time you have a, a, a disagreement, you use what he told you to try and win that argument. And that is the worst thing that you can ever do to a man because you'll never hear from a man again. The moment I open up, kabisani feel wewe unaweza kuwa safe space for me. And what you do is try use what I've told you to try and win, or win an argument or prove a point. Trust me, that is when you're going to shut a man down. For every lady who is watching and listening to me, when you need to understand actually, human, men are human beings. And we also need someone who can at least be there for us. Because the, the society itself, and from the cultural perspective and the family perspective, kabisa kuna venye, kuna hizi misconception about a man, a man has to be you know, masculine and afaku kaki moname. So if I really am in a relationship with you, you are my first person that, you're my safe space. You should be my, actually, in a logic that you are my safe space. And what you, should, you need to understand is, unafakukua there for me. When I come telling you about what I feel and what I've been through, don't shut me down or trying to unaongea. Like, mi na kueleze wo ushaanza kuongea juu ya Kenya nasema. Wait, let me talk, I finish, and you can say what you have to say. Don't, don't try use what a man said to try and prove a point. Because trust me, the moment you do that, you're going to break. Kabisa utam, utam, utam maliza. So for all the women, it's important you realize that you're also part of a man having good mental health. Yeah. It's important. And if you don't, really, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't do that, that's when you find now kuna issues a love triangle and mm. a man will commit suicide or this man will kill the wife. Yeah. Because we have to, I, I think I grew up Nikiambiwahi, but then I've understood it as I've gotten older. We need to be the peace the home of a man.
anafaa kuje afield kama ni safe enough kuniambia eh babe unajua leo boss wangu kwanza mimi nipate ma pressure niko na ma reports kama kumi kuandika na siju nitaanzia wapi mm -hmm. we need to create safe spaces so that men can open up to us because most of the time tukiangalia hata sai you know there've been protests that have been happening and it's led by the gen z because of the financial times the economy social pressure and some of the things that they're dealing with and i came, I came across a tweet enye ilikuwa inasema Maybe you make one stress, and that you could be konje. So people have been using that as a way of venting some of their issues, pent up anger, and all that. I even saw someone who said he was about to commit suicide, akapatwa, and sasa ndio akokuwa streets, and he doesn't even care if he lives or dies because nikubaya either way. So Austin, usha tu ambia how unge. Now maybe my boys wako pia they don't talk about it. What other ways? Because especially starting from self-awareness, utambia zimtu anze apo kachi ni jitem kutano alafu ndio afike kwa point yenye anajua ishu yangu ni hii hii na hii ndo ideal na, kama vinyo unasema if you let's talk about the logical men who want to rationalize vitu wakwe na hiyo plan what would you advise them to do to address this mental health issues that may be coming up? Vile tu nimesema before live within your means na hii live within your means pia ina comprise of beba ile mzigo unaweza beba understand usi wanasema ngadon chew more than you don't swallow. exactly mm. you understand kama boss wako anakusukumia makazi mob enda ambia, enda face face your boss mwambie unani, unanipatia kazi mob kama wife yako anaku stress face your wife mwambie unani stress kwa sababu let me tell you something ishaikuwa na wine and spirit ya yeah? And uh, most men wangepiti hapo, wasema yanataka tu kusip, aende kwa hawa jifanyi mlevi ndiyo waifa achane nae. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, first of, hapo jadili na ishu nyuko nae. Mm -hmm. Sawa, umesip, umeenda, umemuonyesha, umelewa, ndia kwa achane na wewe, uende ulale or something. You understand? Face your woman, muambie, unani stress hivi na hivi na hivi, na inani affect hivi na hivi na hivi, na ina affect our family hivi na hivi na hivi, and if you, if you don't fix it, tutaenda, tutaenda up hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. So, Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you don't change, then the maybe we part our ways or something, you understand? So, as a man, Pia, lazima ukwe, sorry umesema ni siseme hivu, but as a man, Pia, unafa ulidu unafa, kwe the head sasa vizuri, ya? Mm -hmm. Like, Pia wewe kuwa the head, senda, sorry, uh, Pia wewe kuwa the head, ambiana vitu zenye unataka zikuwe na vile mm. zitakuwa. Ivo ndi utadili na hizo issues. Other, otherwise, ukingangana ati kuhepa hepa hizo issues ati, mm. ati sijui bosa na kustressa kulipi fiti. Kama kulipi fiti enda umfesu mwambi unilipi fiti na inisaidi for now. Ata kikufuta, still utakuulisha, utakuulisha yeah. speak. Yeah. Yeah. Umedili na yu issue. Umedili na yu issue in that way. You understand? Mm. Yeah. So opening up, talking once again, addressing. See only a form of talking. Exactly. Uh, yeah. To me, <laughs> you can talk about it, but Aje, psychotherapist. Maybe I, I got it wrong, yeah? Niyo, uh, iyo sasa ti, nimeka, sasa na kueleza shidangu, ina, sasa unani, unanipatia iyo huruma, uh, huruma yeah. yeah. Iyo huruma ndi onasema, it doesn't work for men. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It doesn't work for men. Unfortunately, yata Anthony ame, ame clarify, na yo, yeah, eh, ame aka sema ana empathize. Juu, iyo mm. huruma, by the way, I don't think it helps anyone. Utafil ni kama, when you like a project or something. Huruma ni kama kwambia utakuwa poa. Eh, ni kama sasa, eh, atibuishe. Tebu, let's read some of the comments that you guys have shared and then we'll wind up this conversation. Uh, this is still from Facebook. We have Alan Lawrence. Hi, how are you? He says, yes, it's okay not to be okay. And that, I think that is one statement that I absolutely love. Uh, Bernard Ikedi who says Nangili Simbalo Junction Kakamega County watching Asanti Sana Irungu Jason Akondani Sana Thank you so much Jason Then we have Ibrahim Yasir who says Mapenzi ikona pressure Atastaki kujua kama kuna kupendwa <laughs> Watching live from Bonde Imeni kumbusha vijatwa mesema hii generation Ata itaki story za mapenzi Uno Dafi says Naivasha well represented 
a man should not show emotions unless <laughs> ameachwa na mamake mam tundo akienda ndo uonyeshe emotions nikubaya who hurt you guys poi pablo res says hi guys uh, i don't know if it helps but dawa kwangu is talking to a friend and laughing it out with a smile is so powerful Asante sana Paul. At least tunatuambia kuna mtu mwenye anaongea. Na Kadroza hapo. Huyu ndio undo husband material. Undo wenye tunatafuta. Um, uh, so I think on that note to mona venye watu wengi they don't talk about it. But then also it's because we do not understand that talking venye unasema si atutaki yo kuongea boye tunataka kuongea solutions Solution, yes. like tell me what to do help me and then creating a safe space yeah. where you can feel like you can be vulnerable uh -huh. so anthony uh -huh. on that note yeah. how do we identify when uh, it's a safe <coughs> space like because even for women you know sometimes utambia beshta yako alafu ende atangazie sijui watu wangapi so as a man how do you identify that this person is a safe space this therapist is a safe space or this is a better way for me to vent my issues Uh, number one, we usually go for people who don't really. You know, the moment you open up to someone who knows you, you uh, may limit because there are things you may not tell them because maybe you're afraid they'll judge you or they look at you at a different perspective. So at least go, if it's a therapist, it's a stranger, someone you don't know. Because uh, for us as professionals, by the way, we are not supposed to cancel ama fanya therapy or to wait to a family ama partner. So number one, how you identify this is a safe space? Make sure you come to come on a me, you can come be your fellow man make sure asikupatie suggestion ya pombe because kuna there are men who deal or cope with their stresses what akwambia si we drink no 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 na ni hivyo drinking drinking is never a solution because one thing one thing i usually say drinking is never a solution because the moment you drink or you intoxicate your body number one it affects your physical health the second thing you have not sorted the, the issue out because at the end of the day hautakuwa mlevi for 24 hours plus you will not be high for the for for the, for the rest of uh, whatever that yeah, time ukisha rudi so the question is now have you sorted your issues out so what you need to do is make sure you don't try and sort your issues out or cope with that particular stress in a negative way cope with it in a positive way talk to someone a therapist a professional a friend who will make you feel safe because mm. you have to get someone who ca you can trust because usiende tu mtu yote Pole, time is lapsing. Okay. Tie that with your final comments and tell okay. us do you have a therapist? Yes. You as a therapist, uko na mtu unaendea? All therapists, all actually all mental health professionals including psychiatrists, psychologists, psychotherapists, counselors. We all do what we call supervision and personal therapy mm. to help us not do what we call counter transference to our clients and so that it can help us improve or better ourselves because at, at the end of the day sisi kama therapists ama mental health professionals we are human beings yeah, yeah so one for part in short yangu nitasema ni for all the men who are watching out there please remember it's okay to not be okay but it's not okay to stay that way and it's okay to open up it's okay to go to a therapist i am here and you can come to me my number only for therapy purposes tafadhali when you want to text kunitisha chakula Eh, Mungu akinisaidia tafadhali nitawapatia but this is only for if you're watching as a man and you need a man to man professional talk my number is 0725029398 i repeat 0725029398 on tiktok official anthony njenga on instagram official anthony njenga facebook anthony gaidon njenga you can find me there and you can talk to me Thank you so much. And you better reach out guys cuz unaona venye amekupatia hapo content. So give us your parting shot in less than 30 minutes. What do you think? What's your take away from this conversation? Uh minta stick na point ya men. <laughs> men hiyo woye culture kwanza tutoe. Naona hiyo woye culture sana, yeah. Deal with your issues. Wake up, amka enda tafuta job. Usijifungie tu kwa nyumba uanze kulea useme tu life ni ngumu, life ni ngumu. Vitu zangu haziendi fit. Vitu vitu haziendi fit kwa kila mtu. Wake up deal with your issues tafuta job tafuta group ya maboys wenye mnaweza grow pamoja nao wenye pia wanaweza ku roast like but in a nice way <laughs> yeah anyway even though mimi tafunga ndafunga ndafunga na hiyo maneno and you can also find me on uh, every platform at austin mandela hivyo tu let's have this conversation
Asante. Yeah. And I think that's a wonderful place to wrap it up. I, they've said everything that needs to be said, but this conversation is not exhausted. So let's go on our socials, talk about it, talk to the men. You as ladies, find your friends. You as guys, find your friends and talk about this issue. The entire month is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, and we hope that we can find better ways to address these issues. But that is it from us this evening. This has been the Power Talk Show, and my name is Cheryl Blessing.